why would anybody kill him? It, it's just an absolutely the, the worst time ever and turn him into a martyr. And, and so it's, you know, if, if this was uh, something intended to hurt the pro-life movement, that it did. But uh, as we know that the, uh, the killer, who we think was the killer, and, and we're pretty sure, I, I don't think there's much doubt that it, that it was uh, Scott Roeder. Uh, I think that he was the perpetrator, just from what I'm hearing. And, uh, and he's not a pro-life person. He's been not involved in any uh, pro-life uh, organization. He's never donated to any pro-life organization. He's not been a part of any pro-life group. He in no way uh, acted on behalf of the pro-life movement, and I object to that strongly. Every human life is valuable, tillers included, and that we don't support that. And that's, that's entirely the opposite of, of what we would do as, as a pro-life group. And, uh, you know, if, if God wanted Tiller to die, you know, he could have given him a heart attack or a lightning strike or anything. We don't need Scott to come and play the role of God. And, and we don't think anyone should play the role of God. And yes, Tiller shouldn't play the role of God either. It, the, the whole idea of, of taking a gun and doing a pro-life act is an oxymoron right there. I mean, every, if, if every human life is valuable, then you have to, to yield the fact that abortionist Tiller is a human being and that his human life is infinitely valuable as well. No more or less valuable than the lives of any one of the children whose lives he claimed, but that's, that's on his conscience. He did that. You know, a pro-life person can't go out and, and violate the commandments. I mean, thou shalt not kill is a very clear commandment. 